have been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder. As you know, I've always been an open book. And I wasn't ready to say anything before. But I'm ready now. I've been dealing with problems with my health for a long time. And it's been really difficult for me to face these challenges and to talk about everything that I've been going through. A devastating update has just popped up from the camp of Celine Dion and unfortunately reports say that Celine has unfortunately lost control of her muscles due to stiff person syndrome says also her sister. Now Celine Dion apparently sister says that the single has lost control of her muscles as a result of stiff person syndrome. The star announced her diagnosis in December 2022 and cancelled her 2023 tour but her condition has since worsened according to Claudette Dion. Now, Claudette gave an update about her sister's help in an interview with a French Canadian magazine, saying she works hard, but she doesn't have control of her muscles. Claudette, who also thinks, went on to say that her sister has always been dedicated to her career, which is why her condition is so absurd. What breaks my hand is that she's always been disciplined, she's always worked hard. Our mother always told her, you're going to do this right, she said. Claudette also addressed with that Dion will be returning or performing back on stage again in the future. She said, It's true that both our dreams and hers, the goal is to return on the stage. But in what capacity? I don't know. The vocal cord and muscles, and of course, the heart is also muscles. The star sisters said that there hasn't been enough research into stiff person syndrome because it's so rare. Now, this is what comes to say, and of course, things it comes or happens in just one case in a million, scientists didn't do that or much research about it because it didn't affect or hasn't affect uh, that many people said Claudette. Now, presentatives so far have not come out to speak about it, but of course, as we all do know, there isn't a cure for stiff person syndrome, which is also a neurological disorder, but it can be managed with a mix of muscle relevant and sedantives as business insiders apparently have earlier reported. Now in September, Dion's sister said that Celine has been struggling with full body substance and that there isn't much the family could do to alleviate her pain. Dion first told fans about her uh, condition in an Instagram post last year explaining that has impacted her singing ability but unfortunately this substance, she says, has affected her daily life and sometimes causing difficulties when she walks and of course it's not allowing her to use her vocal cord to sing the way she used to. But guys, this is the latest update about Celine Dion and of course as her sister Claudette is saying looks like the diva would have to battle it out in the hospital or just to prove another way of getting her back onto uh you know the the stage again. But this has become a very dreadful situation for Celine Dion and I'm sure most of you have been praying so hard for her to be back on stage but looks like day in day out her situation keeps worsening and this is the recent update that we also uh, can tell you but just in case you have forgotten what exactly is happening to Celine Dion maybe we can just let you watch exactly when she was speaking about her uh, stiff syndrome which of course you went live to speak about it and what you also think about it but when you stop to say a prayer please don't forget Celine Dion because she needs our prayers also have been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder as you know I've always been an open book and I wasn't ready to say anything before but I'm ready now I've been dealing with problems with my health for a long time and it's been really difficult for me to face these challenges and to talk about everything that I've been going through. Recently, 
have been diagnosed with a very rare neurological disorder called the stiff person syndrome, which affects something like one in a million people. While we're still learning about this rare condition, we now know this is what's been causing all of the spasms that I've been having. Unfortunately, these spasms affect every aspect of my daily life, sometimes causing difficulties when I walk and not allowing me to use my vocal cords to sing the way I'm used to. It hurts me to tell you today. This means I won't be ready to restart my tour in Europe in February. I have a great team of doctors working alongside me to help me get better. And my precious children who are supporting me and giving me hope. I'm working hard with my sports medicine therapist every day to build back my strength and my ability to perform again. But I have to admit, it's been a struggle All I know is singing. It's what I've done all my life. And it's what I love to do the most. I miss you so much. I miss seeing all of you being on the stage performing for you. I always give 100% when I do my shows, but my condition is not allowing me to give you that right now. For me to reach you again, I have no choice but to concentrate on my health at this moment. And I have hope that I'm on the road to recovery. Take care of yourselves. Be well. I love you guys so much. And I really hope 